Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WrestleMania 32. Ever since The Rock announced on Instagram that he would be a part of the biggest spectacle of all time in WrestleMania. We're all wondering exactly in what capacity. Is he going to be wrestling? Well, we'll see. But these are the top five opponents for The Rock if he is going to wrestle. Number five is unlikely to happen. Stone Cold motherfucking Steve Austin. That's right. Stone Cold has indicated to essentially the majority of wrestling fans, the WWE Universe, that he has no intention of coming back. But, however, it does not rule out Stone Cold not participating at WrestleMania 32 in some capacity. Wouldn't it be cool if 10 years or whatever it is, I think, no, that's it's more than 10 years actually. Uh, the last match, obviously coincidentally also Stone Cold's last match that he participated in a WrestleMania at was WrestleMania 19. And it has been 13 years since Stone Cold has been in a WWE wrestling ring as a wrestler. And here The Rock's going to put him away. One, two, three. And The Rock wins it. And I'm just not going to even talk any more about that because I feel that Austin is definitely not going to be coming back to job over to The Rock. But it's possible, which is why he is on the list in the first place. Number four, here we go. Who is it? It's John Cena. John Cena and The Rock go way back. The rivalry stem from a work into a work shoot to now actually getting along. However, the thing is, is that the last time these two were in a wrestling ring together, it was John Cena who went over. Does The Rock want retribution? And does the crowd, more importantly, would they want to see another John Cena versus The Rock match? We don't know. I'm going to have to go and, you know, ahead and make a bold prediction that nobody wants to see The Rock and John Cena because while they had good matches and their chemistry was solid, the build-up was great, the momentum was fantastic, the matches weren't, you know, you know, great. They weren't instant classics. They were good, but they were definitely not great as The Rock kicks out and applies. Here we go. The most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment here. Kablamo! Yeah. Really got him there right here at the WrestleMania 32 pay-per-view live on the WWE Network. You're not going to sell 100,000 seats doing the same match that you've already done again. However, a possibility. You know, it's always a possibility. Number three, Oh boy, this is an interesting one. The current WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns. Now, The Rock could say that he's coming back and he is vying for the most coveted title in all of entertainment, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. The way I build to this is very easy. Right now, Roman Reigns is involved in a huge feud with Sheamus, and obviously Vince McMahon is absolutely involved in a huge capacity. Obviously, the only way in which Vince McMahon thinks that he can get inside the head of Roman Reigns is to have Roman Reigns battle his own cousin, The Rock, for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 32. Obviously giving Roman Reigns a little hesitance because he's family, he's blood, he's heritage, and Roman Reigns has to absolutely demolish and destroy the Rock, because you know The Rock's always going to bring his A-game when the WWE World Heavyweight Championship is in play. The Rock wants to be the champion, doesn't care what he has to go through and who he has to go through to get there. Roman Reigns a little hesitant, he's a newer champion, he's greener, he doesn't know exactly what to do, and he doesn't want to upset The Rock by defeating him and retaining the gold. Who is going to win this one? The Roman Reigns and Rock possibility of this match, you know, while it's unlikely, could very well happen. This could be a fantastic series between these two, and I think 
you know, more importantly, it'd be great if The Rock put over Roman Reigns to really solidify Reigns as a top dog in the company. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Roman Reigns is already the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. He's already the top dog. But... You know, the same can be said about John Cena, and he still hasn't faced The Undertaker for that extra rub, which I still feel would ultimately solidify a 15-time World Heavyweight Champion in John Cena. The Reigns now! Here we go! Boom! There's the Reigns spear! He set him up, and The Rock has successfully put over Roman Reigns here. Two and three, that's right. Now, I think that'd be really cool if Reigns went over on The Rock, and it'd be cool if The Rock did the job for Reigns. You know, obviously keeping the love within the family and keeping the championship on the current title holder, Roman Reigns. Number two possibility, of course, is Brock Lesnar. The much ballyhooed bout between Brock Lesnar and The Rock. They haven't met since 2002 at SummerSlam. They haven't met since then. The Rock at the time was filming The Scorpion King, and he needed to leave WWE for, I guess, you know, at that time, for about a year. He came back in 03 for the final feud with Stone Cold at WrestleMania uh, 19, I believe, and he, he, I think, went on for another feud with Goldberg at Backlash before leaving for good. However... He never got his rematch on Brock Lesnar. Well, not until now. This is a huge possibility for The Rock to come back to and fight Brock Lesnar. It will be a huge, huge way to get everybody involved. Not only just the MMA world, not only just The Rock fans from all over the world. You're getting mainstream attention if you're putting Brock Lesnar and The Rock in there. Mano a mano, one on one. It's going to be electrifying for both the people watching in the arena at WrestleMania 32 and obviously everybody watching live on the WWE Network. Beast versus the best. The Rock covering him. One. No, a kick out there by Brock. And here we go, he's taking The Rock to Suplex City here. That's right. And I would personally love for this to happen. The only downside to this possibly happening is Brock wrestles an incredibly physical style. If The Rock were to participate in this in any capacity, he very mel very uh, sorry, very may well get injured. As he covers him for the three count, The Rock's going to win it in this simulation. And of course, the number one possibility, and this is most likely going to happen if, that's right, Triple H, if The Rock is going to fight at WrestleMania, it'll be against the Cerebral Assassin. The man who has been torturing, and this is really easy to book here, ladies and gentlemen, really easy to book. Triple H has been tormenting every single new star on the roster, from Roman Reigns to Daniel Bryan to anybody who wanted to get their hands in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. The Rock needs to be the one to put a stop to that. Triple H has put a stop to the push of every single individual who has wished and work their asses off to become the top dog. Well, The Rock is going to come back because he's already accomplished everything he needs to accomplish in the WWE. This isn't about titles. This is about the progression of WWE as a company. The Rock comes back and thwarts Triple H once and for all. And really, really just puts a cap in his ass. In the authority's ass. In a figuratively in Vince McMahon's ass. And I think it would be a really cool way, you know, for The Rock to come back and not only just fight for the young stars, but obviously get involved in a feud in which he hasn't been in since with Triple H at SummerSlam of 98. Triple H for the cover! Two and three! That's right, Triple... No, wait, that's, wait a second, that's a Rock here. The Rock got the victory. No, wait, I'm confused. See ya!